for spending your time with us, folks. Coming to you live from ringside, where I can barely hear myself think. I've been doing this a while, so trust me when I say this has got instant classic written all over it. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few short moments, we will witness hell on earth, and it won't be pretty. I can tell you that. We have one of our breakout talents taking on some tough competition. This hell in a cell has all the makings of a classic. Time will tell. Gigantic structure is making it a little difficult for me to concentrate. Based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. And guys, you can almost literally feel the electricity in the air for this Hell in a Cell match. And as this match gets started, I'd like to point out that we're coming to you live from Kansas City, Kansas, the birthplace of WWE Hall of Famer, Cowboy Bob Orton. We might be looking at a broken nose here. Can he end it quickly? Gets the shoulder up. Still seems a little early. Well done. Did you hear that? What impact! Quick pin attempt here. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. And he lands a savage elbow. He's not looking like himself here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. If this is the only damage he walks away from this match with Cole, he should consider himself very lucky. But let's face it, that's just not going to happen. Not when you're inside the cell. He seem more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Not so fast. impressive as we all know hell in a cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring 
Looking to catch him off guard. Yeah, I don't believe that, that he didn't win this match right there. Clearly not enough damage done. Perfectly executed. Nice move. Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. He is a one-man gang in there. Here he goes. Choke slam! Did you see the height on that one? He's in control now. Take cover. You could call this a good old fashioned butt whooping. He might have it. And wow, can you believe he did that? His shoulders are down. What a match. I mean, what an unbelievable match. What a victory. Here is your winner, Hurricane. And that's a win to start off the night. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. And that carnage that we just saw is a lot of the reason why you don't see many Hell in a Cell matches. As we just witnessed, they're incredibly dangerous, folks. Coming right up is a match that can change the course of an individual's career. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus Finn Balor. And with the ladder in play, you know it's going to get interesting. The following contest is a ladder match. And it's for the Extreme Team Cruiserweight Lucha Championship. <laughs> Introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 174 pounds, V. Ryan Kendrick. The Irish captor, Finn Balor, is looking to take all enemies hostage as we get underway here. 
Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches, and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. The Kansas City fans have always been so passionate, and guys, this one is no different as we get started here. How about we touch on Finn Balor a bit? As we get underway, what can the WWE Universe expect from this guy? There's a reason why Finn Balor was a first-round pick for Raw in the 2016 brand extension draft, despite never competing in a WWE ring. If you don't believe me, just watch this match. I agree, and the crowd seems to be backing him here, so that always helps. A sickening thud as he lands hard. Oh, guys, did you see that? Just brings him down with authority there. Looking good for the champ here. Many see him as one of the greatest champions of this era. Tonight is his chance to prove it. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. No, there's the reversal. Challenger starting to falter. But he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Yeah. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. And he gets him with a counter. The Irishman has his Irish up. The challenger not looking good right now. And you have to wonder how much the challenger can sustain at this point. If he takes much more punishment here, guys, I don't think he'll be able to climb that ladder. There's just no way. This is some great offense by Finn Balor. Reverses that one. The blunt force to the head right there might leave him down for good. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Setting that ladder up now. Ain't no stopping him now. Amazing elevation on that drop kick. Up, up, and away. He, uh, all right. He just needs to pull the title down now. Got to be fast here. Nobody's pulled ahead here yet, guys, but as we all know, the complexion of a ladder match can change in an instant. Wow, what a move! Here's the setup. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. Not every move is designed to get the fans off their feet. 
He's sending a message. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. And he delivers a spirited elbow. Look out. Had that one well scouted. Guys, this has easily been one of the most exciting ladder matches we've seen in quite some time. Here we go. He's going to have to hurry and pull. This isn't over yet. We've got a climber. Talk about butterfingers. They're in a dangerous spot high above the ring, guys. When you climb that ladder, you have to know this might be the result. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And now the ladder has become a battleground. Looks like it's going to end with a bang. And the action continues atop the ladder. Introduce a ladder, and this is bound to happen. New champion! We just witnessed what many felt was impossible. Here is your winner and the new Extreme Team Cruiserweight Lucha Champion, B. Brian Kendrick. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give the video a like. Feel free to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe so you'll always know when new videos have been uploaded. Have a good one.